Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out a beginner telescope, the Astronomical 80 over 600. Pretty sure that stands for like its focal length and how like zoomed in it can do. It was about $175. It was one of the cheapest I could find. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be checking what it can do. Right here we have a phone adapter. That's really cool, I'll show you that. We have 10 millimeter eyepiece, 25 millimeter eyepiece, uh, time, ooh, times three, which like zooms it in more. And we have a thing for the uh, the camera, which I will show you. And I will show you what uh, all these three can do with on their own and with the piece in a picture right here. So right here we have everything out of their boxes. Here's the 10 millimeter. Here's the 25, much larger uh, eyepiece where you can look into. And the times three. And we're gonna check that all out. These two on their own and with it with the times three. We're not gonna be looking outside, we're just gonna be looking at what it looks like and I'll show you a few pictures at the end, and I'll show you uh, what they are. So if you have everything already on, other than the uh, eyepieces, you know that uh, this is a screw, and you gotta put this in here, and screw it to the right, or left, left. I oh, know, right. Sorry, still getting used to this. And once you tighten it enough, it'll get stuck there. And it's pretty easy. And that's really it. You won't get much of a zoom with just that on. We're going to show you with the 25, then both of these with the times 3 adapter. Now with the 25. Tighten it really quick. Got that in much larger eyepiece. I would recommend this one. If you're gonna use one on its own, I would use the bigger one because it can take pictures and stuff. And later in the video, I'm gonna explain like how to move it and all that with this and a bunch of different stuff here and what it does, all this stuff. And here's what the times three does. So you put the times three in right here and you kind of keep it right there. That just gives whatever the lens is looking to times three. So I'm going to show you it with the 10 just for a little reference really quick. Here's it with the 10. So what you do is just put it into the hole right there. All right, make sure the, the times three is nice and tight. Nice and tight. And the times 10, slide it in there, tighten it, and got much more zoomed in. And all you have to do, you have to align this with the telescope, which takes really freaking long time. So, uh, yeah. So what you do when you look inside of it, you find the star, planet, whatever, you try and get it right in the middle. And then when you look in this, it should be pointing right at it. It is a little challenging to get down. It takes time, but uh, it is pretty easy. That's how you do it. Now I'm gonna tell you how to take it off really easily. So what you do is just turn it to the left, righty tighty, lefty, and you see, and it gets loose and you can take it out. Just quickly put that back in its case right there. And then you do the same thing with this. Loosen this. You don't need to loosen it that much, but enough will do it. Then with this piece, it's a little bit different. You have this piece, which this piece, which goes to the top. This is just to make sure no dust or anything gets in. Turn it upside, ooh. turn it upside down. There's the secondary piece. This one just goes right around it. It's nice and, and it should be nice and sealed. Once, I think it's not sealed because it might actually have to be tightened. Give me, give me a minute. 
and we're back. It didn't have to tighten it. Tightening does nothing. Just had to get it on. It will. Do, it's really loose. Try and keep that there. So next, what I'm going to show you is how to move it without forcing it in any way. So you want to make it nice and smooth when going uh, side to side. You want to loosen this by pushing it forward. And if you want to make it loose, go up and down. Make loosen this. I would recommend doing this before this. And then once you loosen it, it'll fall down. What you want to do is what I like to do. Tighten it a little bit to where it'll stand on its own almost. And then you can move it around. But if you move it too forward, it'll fall too backward. It will too backward. It will fall. Just keep it a nice area or angle. You can move it around. I have a different tripod than what it came with. Because the one that it came with is, this is a little hard to move. This is okay. Everything else is okay. Just it's kind of hard to move. This is a little bit better. But it's mostly the same. And then you just point it to wherever you need it. Then to turn it back this way to tighten it. It'll keep it nice and tight. Turn this to the right. Until it gets tight. Turn this to the right. It's tight. And then it won't move that much. Now I'm going to show you with the phone adapter how to make uh, use that. So what you want to do is get the phone adapter. I don't have a secondary phone. So I'm going to just use some old case I have. And what you want to do, I get the case really quick. So there, what, what you want to do is put your phone in. This is an old iPod case. And you want to move, drag this side out until it clamps on. Then what you want to do is make sure you line it up perfectly to where the camera is where the camera is. So the camera would be right there. So now it's all clamped in. And what you got to do next is put whatever lens, whatever thing you have. So say you would just want to take a picture with the 10 millimeter lens. Oh, no! That's not good. With the 10 millimeter lens, put it where you want to look in it, right in the middle. And make sure you can just. I think you gotta twist. You gotta twist this to tighten it. Righty. Get it nice and tight until. Oh, my bad. It doesn't fall out. Then what you want to do, just put that this right into the phone. And it will get all loose, but try and tighten this perfectly with this all the way in. Almost perfect. Just tighten, tighten. Oh, crap, wrong way. Woo. Tighten, 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 tighten. Until it's nice and tight. And it stays really still. And you'll be able to take pictures. And what, uh, and what I want to show you is, you can connect a thing to it, this little remote. There's one for iOS and Android. And if you, once you press this button, it'll take a picture on your phone. It is Bluetooth, so just go into settings, press Bluetooth, wait until it comes up with like A1800 or something like that. And you press on that, and then you click and wait till it gets nice and still make sure it's on whatever you want and then just press this the button and it'll take the picture and that saves it from when you touching it from it rattling because that will mess it up it's easier for exposures and all that stuff so that's pretty much how uh that's pretty much it for this telescope it is a beginner uh telescope it is a i'd, I'd say it's a, i hope it's a really good one because i haven't uh tested it out yet but I will, uh, this is only halfway through the video, I'm filming this during the day, and, uh, so I'm gonna go out tonight and, uh, try and get some good pictures of some planets, the moon's not out where I am right now, so it'll be fun, and, uh, oh yeah, at the top, if you wanna take off the top, just twist, 
or and you can take the whole thing I just twist and pull a little bit and you got the whole thing out that's really it and once you get this locked and loaded with perfect do not touch it because it will mess up everything just try not to touch it try not to jerk it around too much or else it'll get all messed up so um thank you for watching uh this part uh i will have the um pictures up in a secondary video for you guys but i'm going to be taking pictures with that and i'll be taking videos so uh yeah let's go hey guys i'm back at night time and you see the moon right there I'm trying to get that right here I saw it earlier hopefully you can get the same Oh, there it is. I gotta fix it a little bit. Give me a second. Tell them about the telescope, Matthew. Or just film me. This telescope is a hundred something bucks, hundred seventies. It is this telescope brand. It's a very good telescope. This is not its normal stand. It has size zoom ins as three, tens, and twenty fives. What else would you like me to say? Almost got it. Almost got it, guys. Here. Oh gosh. There's a couple facts about this thing. There it is. There it is. Beautiful, ain't it? Take some pictures and I'll get right back to you.